Thanks for being here. Uh, a lot of people are, choose not to, are you buttoned up? No, but you know, it's like this is always open and it looks. Just trying to fold it over. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that when the pants, it, it is, it, it's just that the thing opens up and it looks like it's not closed. Yeah, put yeah. a little snap. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> You really are. <laughs> That's all it needs is a little snap right there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go on. That's all you right. You were talking about me? I was. I was, say, I was saying thank you for being here. And per see, if you were Zooming, we wouldn't even know that was going on. We would just see the top of you. And yet, you made a choice to be here. And now, look at that. But this then is you, the magic. Yes, this is. And you're going to be rich because of the snap. Ugh, I can't wait. <laughs> Hello, sharks. <laughs> Okay, hear me out, sharks. <laughs> Here's my pitch. Um, so you, you are, you're here, you're healthy. Is your family healthy? How's what's going on? Yes, yes, my family's great. They're very excited I'm here. We were, we're a big Ellen family. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, and then my dad reminded me, I didn't remember this, but now I remember it. First of all, this I remember. So you gave me one of my first writing jobs. It was to write for you for the Grammys. I was like, trembling when I met you. You took me to King's Road Cafe. Anyway, so then I start writing for you for the Emmys, I mean for the Grammys, and it was my first day going to your house, and I had just moved here from New York. And so I park my Toyota Corolla on the street, and then I walk to your driveway, and I, I press a thing, bring. I go, oh, it's Sarah Silverman. And then a big gate opens. <laughs> it's for cars, uh -huh. but I didn't know. And it's at night, you know, it's, it's dark out. And I got my backpack and I start walking. I see no house and now I've gotten, I've gotten so far that I'm scared to go back, but I'm scared to go forward. And I don't know if there's gonna be a house and like a mile later, a house. But I didn't know you drive, you know, you drive into the house, into a house, you know. Anyway, um, then, uh, you know, you were real nice and I got comfortable and that's when the schnorrer in me comes out and I started bringing my laundry. When I'd write at your house, you, I'm sure you don't remember, but um, I was just like, she has a washer dryer. What am I gonna not bring my laundry? <laughs> And you let me do my laundry. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't remember that. I mean, why would I go to a laundromat when, when I can do my laundry right. at Ellen's house? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're there for an hour anyway. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Now other people are going to bring their laundry to my house. Look, you've given everybody ideas. I've emboldened yeah. people. Yeah. That's hilarious. I don't remember any of that. But um, I do remember you writing for me for the Grammys. Yes. That's hilarious. Um, you uh, apparently, uh, this is the things I learned about you before you come here today, um, started dating during the quarantine, which is a weird time to start dating. I guess it was an app. Was it an app? It wasn't an app. No? It was, <laughs> well, as, as the world was shutting down, I thought, um, I should get, uh, um, I should start playing video games again. You know, it just made sense. This is the time. So I went to GameStop, was still open. I bought a console and a couple games and I got really into this one. It's not the latest one, but I love it. Call of Duty World War II. So this guy who I knew peripherally, like we have mutual friends and stuff. We knew each other a bit. He direct messaged me on Twitter. He goes, I'll play with you online. We were both quarantining, you know? So every night at 7.05, I was in New York. So at seven, we banged the pots and pans out on the fire escape. And it really became just like a group primal scream. It was actually kind of beautiful to be I, in New York I at bet, that time. Then at 7.05, put my headset on and I kill, not, I kill Nazis mm -hmm. with this guy. <laughs> I mean, yada, 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 we're <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend. Wow. And now you get to spend time with him or no? Have you, are you able to mingle? Yeah, he, he came out here. And so he's living out here and it's great. And we make sweet love. <laughs> and um, he's just, I, what, I, I feel like I'm jinxing it by talking about it on Ellen, but I can't help myself. But anyway, I, it, it, it's been, he's been very patient because I, I think I was single for a good amount of time and what I realized is 
I love being alone. I need to be alone. And I was afraid to like give up any of that. So, so far we've had two sleepovers. It went really well. But I, I really, like usually I send him home and he's cool with it. So far, you know, early, they're always great. But, you know, I, I have my whole nighttime routine and it's like a date with myself and I didn't wanna, I'm nervous to give that up, you know? Like, I do my whole face routine, I mean. Yeah, no. Come on. Yeah. And uh, then I, I, I eat like a big bowl of grape nuts while I watch Law and Orders I've seen myriad times. And it's just like, these are the things that seem simple, but I like that, I covet them, and they, they get me to sleep. But when he did sleep over, I did those things, and he just was there. It was all right. Oh, so good. Who knows? So you don't have to give anything up. You can still eat your grape nuts and, and have your boyfriend. I would, grape nuts should hire me. I, 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 I'm so passionate about it, and... Well, it's not like you need the money. You came up with the snap thing. That's true. Yeah. Oh, you're so, so good with callbacks. Yeah. All right, we have to take a break, Sarah. No! <laughs> yeah. No, we do. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll be back in a minute. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!